What's up, y'all? This is Ang and this Bob Sun TV. And today we got Fat Marco had T Grizzly in the town. He took him to America's Best Wings. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. We're on our way to 200k subscribers. If y'all don't know who Fat Marco is, Fat Marco is a DMV comedian. That's my homeboy. He always would miss my right hand, man. That's uh my security guy, aka Big Security. So long story short, happy belated birthday to Marco. Two days ago was Marco's birthday. The day after Marco's birthday, he got security job. Security job is like, let me just tell you how I like work. So long story short, Marco be with me every day. If I can leave the house 10 times out of 10, I'm leaving with Marco. We out and about. That's my security man. So T Grizzly was coming to town because it's a DMV Summer Jam. DMV Summer Jam had a concert. He was booked. So when he come to town, he gonna talk. First of all, T Grizzly is my little brother, man. T Grizzly is my little brother, man. T Grizzly, he mutual with me. That's my man too. I'm supposed to, I keep saying my little brother, man. T Grizzly mutual with me too. I met him through my little brother. We built a relationship. This was years ago. This was probably like a year or two ago. Shout out to Doc. Uh, so my brother got a relationship with him. So my brother always in Detroit. My brother be at all T video shoots. The last 20 video shoots out of town, my brother be there. He just be there. He be with them. Them his own boys. Them his partners. So T got booked in town. So it's like T got booked in town. He just hit kid. Once he hit kid, kid tapped in. Marco, security guard. Picked him with Marco. Kid, pretty much cool. Long story short, I was supposed to go to DMV Summer Jam, but I had seen the crowd. And I'm like, nah, because I got me, I need three security guards. I need three security guards and a black truck. Black truck, $600 for the day. Security guards was like 800 for the day. And I was just thinking about it. Nah, I ain't paying that. Why? I got to pay, then I got to get there. Then I know they ain't giving me nothing. I got to buy one of them $1,800 boots to see 79 people. And perhaps get into an argument with Shaq Glizzy. I'm not paying to get into an argument with Shaq Glizzy because I, I wasn't there to do anything. But I seen the Shaq Glizzy show. He brought his kids, man. Like... Good environment, like it wasn't nothing. I wasn't on, I wouldn't have been nothing on anyway. Shout don't even know I'm a Mozzie fan. Like, I know, uh, shot some of I watch his son play soccer and shit. I'm a fan, like, his son smart as shit. My little man, he don't even know. Uh, so Mako tastes T Grizzly to America's best wings. T, like, he trying to get some food, so he taking America's best wings. I mind y'all, Keith Lee is from Detroit. So now we got one of the Detroit biggest rappers here. So it's like we got to take him to the food spot and recover for this Keith Lee thing. Marco take him to America's Best Wings, tell him what to order, put the seeds on there right, get it right for him and all that. But T had a good time. They run around the city. They ran the city. They did everything. They was out. They called me 3 o'clock in the morning. They still out and about. I FaceTime, T FaceTime. I'm like, fuck y'all want, man. Shit, we outside. Marco, they still outside. They just having a blast. One thing I can tell you about Mako, though, y'all, you need a friend like Mako. If I can get everybody in the world to be as loyal as Mako, it wouldn't be no trouble out here. He a lawyer, nigga, though. One thing about him, he lawyer. But, yeah, he went on a tour. They went to the show. Mako. Mako, big security guard at the show, though, y'all. I'm going to break it down all to y'all and let y'all see their day. Y'all know I'm a blogger. I keep all the... Keep all the content for y'all. But yeah, T came to the town. Y'all got his bag. His bag. Had a good time, man. Shout out to my Detroit, man. Shout out to Fat Marco for holding him down. Just for any for any rappers in the city, out the city, anybody. If y'all need any type of security, this ain't no check-in. Check-in. You don't have to check in here. Just when you lose your shit or something happens to you, don't try to call afterwards. You don't have to check in. There's no check-in, but if you... You right here in my comments worrying about Aunt Glizzy. Like, bruh, I got more money than your father. Your father's father. Like, this generation of brokenness, I'm him. Like, I can sit in the house all day and do YouTube and get money. You got a nine to five. You not even on nothing for real. I can show you nine to five different ways why I don't need a nine to five. Y'all keep on talking about Shy Glizzy. I'm not even going to bring Shy Glizzy name up no more. Like, all them interviews and stuff, I'm not bringing his name up no more. 12 seconds later. I'm the reason Shy could even post in Southeast. Like, he was living in Laurel. I'm telling you. 
Like, Shy is on nothing. Like, God keep glamorizing him because he got a goat on his head. Like, I'm the only one in this city with motion. Who else you know doing Say Cheese interviews? DJ Akin Venom interviews. Man, I'm tired. Hold on, y'all. Let me get DJ. <sighs> That's what I'm telling y'all. They said Aunt, Aunt Glizzy. They, they said Aunt Glizzy can't. They, they said Aunt Glizzy shot. Shot Aunt Glizzy can't. They said Aunt can't. Aunt, Aunt Glizzy can't. Can't go there. Aunt, Aunt Glizzy can't do. Uh, Aunt Glizzy can't do. Man, y'all know I dropped out of elementary, but like these words, big as Mutual friends, we willing up. Extend our arms for relationships, you feel what I'm saying? Because we try to make it out. People already make it out. So if you ever come to D.C. and you're in a foggy situation, you can tap in with Dirty God for y'all. Tell y'all which right way to move, what to do. You know what I'm saying? Tap into me, tap into kids, tap into Fat Marco. We can show y'all how to move around the city the right way appropriately. Just so y'all won't be in no nonsense. It's for anybody. Everybody get open arms. It's for any of them DMV rappers. Any of you DMV rappers, y'all feel like y'all going to a show or y'all going somewhere y'all uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you might got to come out your pocket with a couple dollars just to make sure you get your legit gun beside you and you can feel a little bit better. These people down there licensed to kill, bro. Fat Marco DMs open, man. Y'all tap in with him. He takes security jobs. Whenever he ain't securing me, he takes side jobs, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Oh. What up, though, man? It's T Grizzly. Check it out. Whenever you in a DMV and you need security, not security, it just be there for show. Yeah. You need, I ain't gonna, you need somebody that's gonna blow that bitch for you. Yeah, I'm telling you. Tap in with Marco, man. I ain't even gonna say security. If you need somebody with you that yeah. know what's going on in the streets and gonna blow that bitch for you, that's your guy. Man, I'm trying to get them out the hood. Man, I'll make sure y'all move smart out here. But yeah, though, shout out to Detroit, man. I told y'all, man, your favorite rapper don't like me because he's a uh, they said Aunt Glizzy couldn't go to uh, Summer Jam. I can bring Summer Jam to the hood. <laughs> Bob or something. <laughs> Put the motherfucking pepper on there, right? Yeah. So, put a little bit of salt, not too much. You know what I'm saying? Bop, and then put the seasoning salt on there. Oh, babe. Man, oh, babe, my bad, my bad. Oh, babe. Now, this the mumbo sauce. This that shit right here. This is it. I'm gonna put some of that stuff on there. You gotta touch every fry. Water. Oh, we good. We good. I'm thinking it's gonna be in the city. Oh, we good. We got water. Bro, we're gonna have a good time. We're gonna have a good time. Drake no, really ARV, we come. gotta have. I'm going to give me some some good content and I'm going to walk around with the mic and be like, what's up, y'all? This is Bob on TV and today we got Q the Fool. Q the Fool, what's up? Why did you diss GQ? Uh, I'll fuck around. Get Q the Fool a ski Yeah, that's what I'm about to say. I ain't even on no crazy shit. He's going to turn around. I'm going to pop the shit out. Hey, George. <laughs> like, well, I, and that's another thing I want to say. When y'all get in tune with Ant, y'all always got to bring GQ name up, bro. Like. Y'all don't Grizzly even know my man, bro. Y'all ain't know GQ. Stop speaking on GQ, bro. Y'all niggas don't even know GQ. Like, if y'all... Uh, see, that's the shit that be getting me mad, eh? I ain't gonna hold you. Like, I'm trying to grow mentally, but making a whole song about a nigga you never probably even seen... You probably seen him one time is when y'all did that song together. Other than that, you don't even know that man, bro. 